But I remember thinking about the courage, just the title, The Courage to Preach. I remember that book by Paul Tillich, The Courage to Be. Um, and, and what I remember him saying at one point in the book <clears throat> is that courage is not the foolhardy courage of those who have no fear or anxiety or stress. Courage um, is always in spite of. Um, it is the courage to be in spite of the threat of non-being, to love in spite of the power of hatred, to care in spite of the temptation to care less. The courage to preach is in spite of our own failings and our own mortality and sinfulness um, and perceived inability and perceived lack of gifts or whatever our shortcomings, whatever we think they are, whatever they may be, it is the courage to stand up um, and dare to declare that there really is a word from the Lord. And so on a personal level, it is about a courage overcoming some of our own fears and anxieties, not in unhealthy ways, but in healthy ways. But on another hand, it is a courage to actually bear a message that is profoundly countercultural, that is sometimes contrary to the evidence, to, to stand up and declare that, that love is the only way uh, in a world that doesn't always look that way, um, to, to declare peace in the midst of war, uh, to declare compassion um, in the midst of consumerism. Uh, that is where, the, that, now that's where the rubber really meets the road. Um, but ours is an intrinsically countercultural gospel because it is about following Jesus, not about following the world. And preaching is about summoning somehow the courage to say that and mean it.